Auz billahi min shaitani rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim so today i we will study from the book sunan at tirmizi so here we will write some questions and in the answer you will write the name of the book and also you will write the hadith number of the book as well then you will write the answer which i will tell you and in the next class i will ask you the answer as well so today the first yeah. one is here is hadith number 2346 this is about the description of the one for whom whole world has been gathered okay read this hadith and then we will write some question for it Do you hear me? Yes, 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 sir. Okay. Let me see. Amr ibn Malik wa Mahmud Mahmud ibn Khidash al Baghdadi all haddasana Marwanu ibn Muawiyah, Haddasana Abdurrahman ibn Abi Shumayla, Shumayla al-Ansari, and Salama ibn Ubaidillah, Ubaidillah ibn Mehsanin Qatmi, and Abi Waqanat lahu Suhban, all, all a Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man asbaha minkum aminan fi sirbihi mu'awin Mu'afan. Naam fi? Mu'afan. Mu'asan, mu'asan fi jasadi. Indahu, who, in the who, who to Yomihi? Fakanama, he Fakanama, he said, Lawful Dunya. I now read the English translation. Salma Ibn Baydullah bin Mahsan Al Qatmi narrated from his father, and he was a companion who said, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever among you uh, wake up in the morning, secure in his dwelling, health uh, in his uh, body, having his food for the day, then it is as if he, the world has been gathered for him. So this hadith is for those people who think that the life is too difficult for them. They don't have any blessing of Allah. If anyone has a residence where he or she lives and he has health and also he or she has food for the whole day, then this means he has got all the necessary blessings of Allah Almighty. He or she cannot make any complaint in that regard. Okay? He is. So here we will write the question. What does Hadith twenty three forty six of Sunan Tirmizi 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 tells you. So here you will write that in the answer you will write Hadith 2346 tells us that 
if we have our dwelling, if we have our residence and health and food for one day, then we cannot make any complain. Okay. So now I will repeat the answer. Hadith 2346 of Sunan Tirmizi tells us that if we have a residence and health and food for the day, then we cannot make any complaint about difficulties of the life. So now you repeat the question and tell me the answer. Uh, what does Hadith uh, uh, 2346 Tirumadi tells you? Uh, Hadith uh, 2346 tells us that if we uh, if we have uh, our dwelling, residence, health and food for a day, uh, then we cannot make any complaint about difficulties of life. Okay. Next student we have is Mr. George. Do you hear us? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum yes, assalam. Yeah, brother, my name is Fahmida. I am my granddaughter put my name on the group like that. So it's her cat name. So I am, my name is Fahmida. Fahmida. Yes. Right, okay. Let me note it. Fahmida. Okay. Now read this hadith. This hadith is what is sufficient and being patient with it. Okay, read this hadith. Okay, 2347. Yes. Abu Humayma narrated that the Prophet ﷺ said, Indeed, beat of my friends, best of my friends to me is the one of uh, my major conditions who share is in Salat, worshipping his Lord, well and obeying him even in private. He is uh, obscure ab among the people such that the fingers are not uh, are only what is sufficient. Uh, fingers are not pointed toward him. His provisions are only what is sufficient, and he is patient with that. Then he tapped with his fingers and said, His his death comes quickly. His mourners are few, and his inheritance is in little. With this, the above chain, it is the narrated that the Prophet ﷺ said, My Lord presented to me that he would make the valley of Makkah into gold for me. I said, no, O Lord, but being filled for a day and hungry for a day. Or he said, three days or something like that. So when I am hungry, I would be beseech you and remember you. And when I am full, I would be grateful to you and praise you. There is something on this topic okay very important things are told to us in these and these so we'll okay. read them one by one inshallah first of all is the worshipping of Allah yes do you know what is meager condition major condition meager condition and to me is the one of the major condition major is like something um, big. Sorry? 
big major conditions like uh, not, the not good big. it mean little little Old. major major yes. minor minor is little right not major. no no this is meager. this is a different word it is this is a meager okay meager. okay meager so it means very few i will explain okay. this inshallah now okay okay so here first question we will write so all of us claim to be friend of the prophet is this right me also claim you also claim everyone wants to be a friend of prophet but the question is who is the best of friends of the prophet Muhammad yes. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Who is the best of the friends of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam So it includes his companion also and it includes the people of this era as well me, you and everyone mm -hmm. Muslim and who plans to be a friend of the mm -hmm. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam So the, in the answer you will write the one who has little but sufficient mm -hmm. income mm -hmm. and he performs all the obligatory commands of Allah mm -hmm. and he fulfills all the obligatory commands mm -hmm. of Allah mm -hmm. and he is obscure among the people. Mm -hmm. And he is patient with his earnings. And his Death comes quickly and his mourners are few and please repeat him. I can hear properly and if his mourners m o u r ah, that okay. yes, mourners. mourners are few and his inheritance is little mm. if it not. <laughs> yes <laughs> so i will repeat the answer now yeah uh, excuse me, I just don't understand that part. So, yani, it, it means that like mm -hmm. it means that you have little bit of your um inheritance, anything mm -hmm. goods or you have gold, jewelry, or property or anything. Yeah. You have you have people who will mourn for you, who will be crying for you. They yes. will come quickly when somebody dies. They will come quickly. And there will be only few people who will come and cry for you that you are gone. But then the inheritance is very little and his inheritance is little. Then what happens is people come for the inheritance, right? More people come yes. for the inheritance. Yes. 
Yes. So there's uh, very less people come to cry, and but people come for inheritance. Hmm. Hmm. And another difficult word is obscure. Obscure means the one who is not popular, the one who is not famous among the people. Okay. Is it because of his deeds or because uh, why? يعني, I, I'm a bit confused about this hadith. Um, so when so he's doing popular, it also makes you a little neglectful in your religion. So when you become lucky, popular, yeah. The good yeah. person obscure often. Most of the good people you will see, and lucky it keeps them obscure. Only a few people are made famous. Most of them are obscure when they become religious. So yeah, got it. Keeps them okay. away from the common people. I understand now. They live exactly among us, fair. but Allah keeps them a little separate from us. So I will repeat. Yeah, and you're not famous when you become when you become to like religious close to Allah. Uh, you don't have many friends. Is that what it means? Yani, yes. Uh, you don't become famous because you are on the right. You you do the, you know, what the command, you follow the commands of Allah. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Got it. You also know, you will notice that when anyone has wealth, even when a scholar has wealth, many people gather around him. But when any yes. scholar does not have wealth, he lives a very simple life. He does not have any car. You will see very few people revolve around him. So yes. this is another thing. So true. Subhanallah. Jazakallah khair. So I will repeat the answer according to the Hadith 2347 of Sunan Tirmizi. Best of the friends of Prophet وسلم, is the one who has little earnings you can also write meager conditions and he fulfilled all the obligatory commands of allah even when he is alone and he is obscure among the people obscure mean he is not popular he is not famous among the people his income is just sufficient and he is patient with it and he is patient with the income death comes quickly and mourners are few and his inheritance is little uh, how to say that death comes quickly uh, let me give you an example what is the name of your father uh, Sayyid Ahmad. So, one example of quick death is this dad. He will just pray for Jaisala. Then he maybe feel little sleepy. He will go to the bed. There he will sleep. And in that sleep, death will come to him. This is an example yes. of quick death. Okay. So, basically, he will just live a normal life. He will be in a healthy condition. And one day, maybe he get a little bit sick and he will die soon without much sickness. So he will not spend oh, much time on the death. Difficulty and sickness, uh, the person who is uh, 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 pious and satisfied, uh, that comes easily, more mm. than quickly. But sometimes, there is another Adish as well, that some good people are um, uh, have a difficult death as well. For example, Allah will make them ill before their yes. death. Yeah. Its example Ayyub is Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Death was very difficult for Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then death was yes. very difficult for Umar Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu. So sometimes good people have also a difficult death. But most of the good people will have Quick and easy death. Quick and easy death. Okay, okay. So now, uh, Fahmida. Yes, the answer of this question with the reference. The, the meager condition, those who have meager condition, 
they will also um, uh, survive with the living whatever they have and then they are going to be um, and if the death comes quick they will have their few mourners and they will have less uh, in inheritance do you have a notebook no i didn't bring my notebook today so that's why i did some points yeah. from the answer yeah yes i did yes i did um i was i just got, got the call and i got in okay so next student we have khadra do you hear us yeah yes i do okay what now so you, what's your question now you read the next hadith oh okay i need to write one more question here and then i will ask you the answer Inshallah. What will happen if you eat a lot? So what will happen if you eat a lot? The answer is you will become neglectful in your religion then same question will be between what will happen if you eat little eat a little second question is what will happen if you eat little in the answer you will write According to Hadith 2347, according to Hadith 2347, you will beseech and remember Allah more. You will remember. Allah more according to Hadith 2347 you will remember Allah more Miss Khadra what yeah. will happen if you eat a lot uh, you will be neglectful with uh, with uh, with your ibadah. Okay. And what will happen if you eat a little? You will remember Allah more and more and be more uh, um, like uh, what do you call it? Um, Are these numbers aware. Numbers? Yeah. Answer? Yeah. You'll be aware. Yeah. You'll be aware of your like. Every deed that you do before you, you know, you'll be more you, Allah you will conscious. Remember Allah more. Okay. Yeah, and you'll be more Allah. I mean, conscious, more Allah conscious. Okay. Any reference for this answer? Um, is it the two, three, four, seven? Yes, two, three, four, seven. I think you also don't have a notebook. Am I right? No, I'm writing, but I'm I'm not a very fast writer. <laughs> so, okay. And yeah. So. Okay, no problem. Then we have the next student, Ummu Ahmed. No. So you will read the next this. Read this at least. In English, yeah? Yes. Abdullah bin Amr narrated that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, he has succeeded who accept Islam and is provided with what is sufficient and is made content by Allah 
صحيح I will write the question. Who is a successful person? Who is successful person? The answer in the answer we write. According to Hadith 2348 of Sunnah Tirmizi, the one who has accepted Islam and has just sufficient income and is content by Allah. Content means he is happy with Allah. He does not have any complaint or he thinks the life is good. He thinks that his life is okay, good. And is content by Allah. That is successful person. I will repeat the answer. According to Hadith 2348 of Sunan Tirmizi, the one who accepts Islam and has just sufficient income and is content with Allah that is a successful person. So now you will tell me who is a successful person According to Hadith 2348 of Sunnatul Tirmidhi, the one who has accepted Islam and has just sufficient income and is content with Allah, that is successful person. Okay. If anybody has, we will stop our class here. If any of you has any question, you can ask me. Uh, Sheikh, uh, we want a uh, PDF share for all the hadiths. We couldn't take all these things so easily. Oh, message me on the message on this number. Then you will get the WhatsApp or then you will get the PDF, inshallah. Okay. Which which number? Yeah, this number. One, one second, sir. In the think. group, the one who sends the Zoom link. Message on that number, okay? Yeah, one, one second, sir. Yes, that. in the group, you receive the Zoom link, ma message on that WhatsApp number. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, not this number. That is okay. on number six. Yes. This and, is the one now. And also, now you all make the picture of your answers, and send me the picture on the WhatsApp number. Okay. Picture means writing only, no, sir. Yes, the answer of um. The picture of the answers wow. that you have written. We have to take the photocopy and send. Yes, make a photo and send me. Uh -huh.